Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my stamping for the Stamping Saturday collab and the theme this week is Easter. So on my nails, I have one coat, OPI Natural Nail Base Coat. And then I have two coats of China Glaze Rainbow. And this is a um, kind of like a jelly white with that pinky purplish shimmer to it. And then over that, I have one coat of Salon Perfect Plumping Gel Effect Top Coat. So the only Easter plate I have is this one, Mani Allergy M189. So not 100% sure what I want to do. I think I'm just going to do um, like this on a couple nails and then a bunny and a um, chick peep. So let me grab my mat to put my plate on. And then, oh, I need a couple of stampers because I am going to reverse stamp my, um, so I got a couple mini allergy ice cube stampers because I am going to reverse stamp the, the, um, the little peep. Let me turn it around this way. Mm, that's a little too far. There we go. Um, I am going to be stamping that with my mini allergy. Straight up work. And make sure I have everything ready here. So, like I said, I don't really have a lot of Easter plates. So I was kind of struggling to figure out what I was going to do. Do this bunny. I'm just going to isolate the image and do one of each. I'm not going to do the whole image. And I missed the top of his ear. So I'll have to do that again. You put me some acetone. 100% acetone on my cotton ball. Let me bend that down. Okay. So let's do this way. Maybe I can pick him up this way now and get the whole thing. Yep, I think I got them all. I just have to very carefully and look I took part of his ear uh, trying to be too quick with that let's do it again do it again um, I forgot what I was saying got so aggravated with, with myself taking part of his ear off Do it this All right, good enough, good enough. Now to get the little chick part. The nice size one right there.
to my little bunny. I fill him in with um, he's gonna be purple. So we're gonna use my bases loaded lacquer. Uncle Finger Binger and his 30 pound Wittebago. And pay no attention to the ugly bottle syndrome. The polish is still really good inside. So I need a tiny detail brush. So that's going to be, I'm gonna use this one, my winning nails, nail art brush that I got from Sally's. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of purple on my mat here. And then gonna pick it up and start coloring it in. So yeah, I don't have a lot of Easter plates. I don't know why, but Easter has been a very difficult holiday for me since my daughter passed. Um, don't know why. Why Easter? I don't know if it's the whole resurrection story. If it's just because it's springtime, then that was the time of year where we were able to start going back to doing outdoorsy stuff. I just, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. So when I do around my outline, I kind of tap. I still have not learned how to actually um, like paint it without smearing the polish underneath. Because no matter how long it sits there and dries, once you put this wet polish on top, it wets the polish underneath. So I just always kind of tap mine on there. Now, that does make it a little thick, so if you have an issue with texture on your nails and you have found that you end up smearing, look how cute, see he smeared a little bit in his ears, but I'm going to roll with it. Hopefully you won't notice it that much. I do see a spot though. Um, you can always top coat with your smudge free top coat. Okay, I got the gap. Uh, top coat with your smudge free top coat, let that dry, and then color in your image. All right, now we're going to do. The traditional peep. So we're gonna do him yellow. And the yellow is the Men of Blanche's Boudoir. So again, putting just a little bit on my mat. And then we're gonna fill him in. So again, I'm just tap, tap, tapping that color on. And I already smeared that. Y'all, it's it's pretty late at night, so I'm just I'm I'm gonna roll with it. I'm not gonna keep on redoing. Because if I do that, I'll be here all night. 
because I do still need to let this polish dry before I can go to bed. can do this better I just just not on camera and I, I'm still missing part of his tail right chair wow that's really thick LJ yes it is all right, so there we go with the little chick. Chip, 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 chip. All right. So now that that's done, while I'm waiting for those to dry, I'm gonna go with this image here. So I think I want my chick there. I oh, know it's still wet. And then my bunny on, yep, I think that's how I want it. Okay, so that means I'm gonna do the purple on my pinky. I've been touching that, so let me get this. So I can get the oils off the plate from my fingers. And I'm gonna stamp with the same colors I just reverse stamped with. Um, colored in the images with, not reverse stamp, sorry. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's kind of late. All right. Fill that in. Let's scrape. There's a lot of negative image there, so I made sure to keep my stamper low. See, you can see that. Tap, tap, tap. Okay. Clean it. And then we're going to use the yellow for my pointer finger. the yellow shows. Scraping really low. Roll up. And then that's gonna go right there. And then because of my strong C curve, I have to push it down right there on the edges. See, because if not, it's going to pop up. All right, so my filled in image, I'm going to let them dry. I'm going to clean this up and then I'll be back. All right, I'm back. I have cleaned up around the edges of those two. And these are dry enough. So I'm going to take my Mini Allergy Sticky Base Coat. And I'm going to apply a thin layer. To both these nails. So that my images have a tacky layer to stick to. 
and you want it not wet but not dry. So my little bunny's gonna go here in the middle. Try and get him straight, which I'm not very good at. And centered, which I'm not very good at either, but. Oh, y'all, I did those on the wrong nails. Ugh! I wanted the chick in the middle and the bunny on the ring finger. Oh well, that's on there now. All right, there we go. I'm going to top coat and then I'll be back. You know what, I'm gonna top coat on camera so y'all can see. Let's see, hopefully I won't smear it. Gucci in. I do better top coating like this. A little bit more. How about that? Is that good for y'all? Now, full images like this, I also cut my edges with my top coat with my smudge spray so that way when I cap my edges with my um, regular top coat it won't smear All right, I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna top coat with my uh, Salon Perfect top coat and then I'll be back. All right, I'm back. I've top coated with my Salon Perfect Plumping Gel Effect top coat after using my smudge free top coat. And there's my finished Manny. What do you think? I think especially this one's really hard to see. I might go back over these with black. What do you guys think? Mm, I might, I think when my top coat dries, I think I'm gonna go back over it with black, but offset a little bit. So you can see the yellow and the, hopefully see the little bit of purple behind it. So let me do that and I'll be back. All right, so this has dried hopefully enough that I can stamp over it and not mess it up too bad. So, let's see. Make sure this is clean. Let's grab my straight up black again. this one here I need to offset it a little bit so maybe here I wiggled a lot hmm. I 
right. No, that's not enough. See if I do better on the other one. All right. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna clean up and I'll be back. All right, I'm back yet again. I have cleaned up and top coated, and here is my finished Manny now. And I promise I'm not doing anything else to it. <laughs> I am done. Um. So, not what I had intended, but this is what I ended up with. It's okay. Um, I've done better, but it's late and I'm tired. So uh, I want to thank you all so much for joining me this week. Um, as usual, I will have everyone else's photos. Um, first mine and then everyone else's photos after that that participated this week. And I'll have their links to their videos in the description bar below. And I want to um, thank you so much for joining me. Oh, I also have a Maniology discount code, LJNails10. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I appreciate you all so much. And I will see you next time. Bye.